All right, let's check in now with Greg D for his details. That's right, yeah, connecting the details with our Price of Paradise series, where we've been telling you about two insurance companies, Castle Key and Amica, increasing their rates or requesting to do so last year. Well, I went into the filings, over a thousand pages each, explaining what the rates were going to be and why they were higher. And it turns out both insurance companies use the same service for their catastrophe modeling, their weather modeling from Air Worldwide. That's the name of the company. This company actually runs a model for every storm that goes through the Atlantic Basin, hurricanes here, and it calculates the damage that that storm would cause for homeowners, renters, and condos. This is where the insurance companies are setting their rates. Now, it gets pretty close in many storms. Sometimes it under forecasts, sometimes it over forecasts the damages. In this particular example from that filing, Irma and Michael were well underestimated and the insurance companies had much larger losses. In fact, this model breaks down in the insurance companies the state by zip codes and has a separate rate code for every zip code in the state. Those along the coast and our coast, Pinellas, Manatee, Sarasota, Pasco County obviously have higher rates. And what the model is basically seeing is that we are going to see more storms and with more storms, they're expecting more damage. So how did they know that this works? Well, what they did is they ran this model for past storms all the way back to Andrew, Aaron, Charlie, Francis, Ivan, Jean, Charlie. All of these were run. This is what the model estimated the damages would be. And these are the actual losses. When you look at a storm like Andrew, it actually nailed it in one of the company's models. Charlie really, really close as well. In others like Ivan, the model well overestimated, while in Charlie, it underestimated and overall both insurance companies think that this model is actually pretty good. It also does a really good job forecasting the number of landfalls in the United States in any particular year. The blue is what the model predicted. The green is what actually happened. And you notice all the bars here pretty close. So that is one of the reasons why we are seeing increasing insurance rates around Florida. And that's likely not going to change as the models are indicating that hurricane activity will continue to increase.